This is the weather video for Saturday, February 13th, 2021. Freezing rain in the north will quickly end this morning, and all precipitation should be out of here later this afternoon. Most of Sunday remains dry before the next system moves in with the potential of freezing rain for parts of the area. We'll get to that in just a moment. National Weather Service Huntsville continues a winter weather advisory this morning until 10 a.m. for Colbert, Coleman, Franklin, Jackson, Lauderdale, Lawrence, Limestone, Madison, Marshall, and Morgan counties in North Alabama. And National Weather Service Birmingham continues a winter weather advisory until 10 a.m. for Blunt, Fayette, Lamar, Marion, Walker, and Winston counties in Central Alabama. If you are having to drive this morning, leave early and slow down. Hazardous travel will persist through the morning in the advisory area. Icy bridges and overpasses have been reported along with light glaze of ice on elevated surfaces, including vehicles. Only a few accidents are showing up on the map in Madison County, but it is unknown if they are weather related. Radar at 5.45 a.m. showed that we still had the potential for freezing rain in the northern parts of north central Alabama, mainly from around Coleman and Double Springs, up to Athens, Huntsville, and Ardmore. Showers continue south of that, mainly along and east of the I-65 corridor. The western parts of the area have already started drying out. Temperatures across central Alabama at 5 a.m. were in the upper 20s to the lower 50s across the area. Haleyville was the cold spot at 29 degrees. Much warmer down in Troy at 52 degrees. Birmingham was at 35 degrees. Now let's dive into the models as we'll start off with the 06Z run of the GFS valid today at 3 p.m. After the morning temperatures start to warm above freezing in the advisory area, any ice accumulations will melt and any travel issues will clear up this morning. Shower activity will eventually come to an end by the early to mid-afternoon hours, but skies will generally stay cloudy throughout the rest of the day. Afternoon highs will be in the upper 30s to the upper 50s across the area from northwest to southeast. Much of your Valentine's Day, yes, that's Sunday, guys, will remain mainly dry across much of central Alabama, but don't expect much sunshine at all. Showers will eventually become possible once again by the late night and overnight hours over the northern half of the area. Some freezing rain may be possible for the northwestern parts of the area, but any accumulations are unknown at this time. Highs will be in the upper 30s to the upper 50s across the area from northwest to southeast. Much of Monday morning looks to be dry, but showers and the potential for freezing rain and sleet will begin to move into the western parts of the area before midday. It is still a tricky situation to forecast because it all depends on temperature, the intensity of the rainfall, and ground temperatures if there will be any ice accumulations. At this point, the best probability for accumulating ice will be along and west of a line from Livingston to Jasper to Fort Payne. South and east of that line will be just a cold rain for the rest of the area. The European is similar in its latest projections, but the timing has the freezing rain starting mid-afternoon and persisting through the late night hours, with all activity out of the area by midnight. Some travel issues may be possible in those locations where accumulations may occur, especially on bridges, overpasses, and any other elevated surfaces. While all of the activity will be out of the area just before midnight, overnight lows may allow any accumulated ice to stick around through the overnight hours. Highs will top out in the mid-30s to the lower 60s across the area from northwest to southeast, but eventually dropping into the upper teens to the mid-30s for the overnight lows. Those icing issues may hang around through the morning hours on Tuesday as it will take a while for those locations to make it above freezing. The skies will eventually become mostly clear by the evening hours and the highs look to top out in the lower 30s to the lower 50s across the area from northwest to southeast. The good news is that Wednesday will be a little warmer and there will not be any icing issues. Unfortunately, clouds will be working back into central Alabama throughout the day and showers will become possible by the evening hours. Highs will be in the lower 40s to the lower 60s. Thursday still looks to be a really wet day across central Alabama as a surface low will be working its way northeastward through the western parts of the area throughout the day. At this point, severe weather does not look likely, but there will be enough instability that a few rumbles of thunder will be possible. Highs will top out in the mid-40s to the mid-60s across the area from northwest to southeast. Shower activity will be moving out of the area before sunrise on Friday morning and will be left with decreasing clouds and cooler temperatures behind the low and departing cold front. Highs will be in the lower 40s to the lower 50s. That will do it for today's video. We'll have notes on the blog throughout the day. Bill Murray will have the next video out on Sunday morning. I'm Scott Martin signing off for today. Have a great day and God bless.